Okay, guys, as I was doing this uh, Thunderbird over here next to this Mustang, I happened to take another look, and I said, this is a nice 5.0 sedan. And it was sitting over here, and I said, man, this is pretty clean. Well, to come to find out, this thing not only is a stick shift and a 5.0, but it's actually got 55,000 actual miles on it. So this thing was driven and then set to the side, you know. And it's probably been sitting in somebody's garage for a while, and they just kept it and kept it clean and just hadn't driven it for a while or, was, or driven it when they needed to to keep it in good running shape. But this thing, it's a nice looking car. And we're going to look at the uh, passenger side again. Yeah, guys, so far I don't see anything that can stand out. I mean, you may have a few little nicks and a few little dimples here and there in this car. And, uh, but so far, nothing like a bunch of rust or anything that stands out to be like, oh, no, I'm not buying that car. This car is really nice, you know. Um, one thing I noticed, antenna is gone. But maybe there's an antenna someplace else. I don't know, we'll look and see. But this thing here, this 5.0 is real nice. Really, really nice. And uh, the front end, is, as we look at it again, it's pretty clean, I don't see any damage. Nothing that really stands out. Glass is looking pretty good. As we go in, we're gonna look in at the bucket seats, these blue bucket seats here, that cloth, Buck is a nice soft sitting type of seat, you know. And as you notice, it's the, uh, that old school style stick shift. And this thing here is nice. And as you go in, you look at the uh, dashboard. This car is pretty clean. You can't beat that. It's really, really clean. Let's look at the back seat. Cause you know with these Mustangs here, you didn't have much room in the back, but you had a seat back there. And if you can see it and notice it, boom, there's the seat. <laughs> there's what's left of room, but there's a seat back there. Because, you know, Ford didn't want to get into that discrepancy about having two seats in one car and calling it a sports car, because, you know, that caused a lot of problems with insurance, this, that, and the other. But uh, let's look at the uh, driver's side. Well, as we look at this driver's side seat, it's in really good condition. That's why I said this thing had to sit in somebody's garage and it sat there after they driven it and maybe they would take it out on a weekend during the summertime and drive it a little bit more. But this thing here actually has, I believe that speedometer says it all together. I think, what is that? Is that 160? That says 180? Yeah, look at that. 140 to 180 on the speedometer. Because, you know, going back in the day, they had those speedometers that went up to only like 85 miles per hour, you know. But this thing here, this Mustang here, I'm not going to say it's going to get up to 180 on its own, but with some modifications, then yeah, this thing would be flying. But you would have it at the track, <laughs> you know at the racetrack, of course, not on the city streets. But this thing here is something special to be bought and, and built up or driven as is. You know, we're gonna walk around and take a look at the information board for you guys. So here we are. It's a 88 Ford Mustang, 5.0 liter, five speed manual, deep shadow blue metallic. I love this paint color. You guys see the price here, what they're asking for it. And as I said before, 55,000 actual miles. So it's sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. If you like this 5.0, give them a call. All right, nice find.